glad this football season is finally over. Yeah, I feel you, bro. I'm glad this school year is almost over. Are you going anywhere after this? Uh, I'm not really sure. I haven't really looked around. My parents are trying to push me to go to some fancy college, but I don't think college is for me. I just want to make some money, man. Oh, come on, Frank. You gotta at least try. Are your parents still on your back about going to college and all? Yeah, that'll probably never change, Frankie. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Frankie. Hi, Miss Cole. What you got there, Miss Cole? A letter somebody dropped in my mailbox says it's for you. Yes, I did it, I did it, yeah! What'd you do, man? I made it to Notre Dame, Frankie. Aren't you glad? Yeah, man, that's great. Yeah! Woo! So what are you doing this weekend? Nothing, I don't have anything to do, I don't, you know, no idea. Well, you need to get a yeah. job. Man, you get a job! I have hey. one. Hey. I'm having a little get together this weekend, and I'm not sure where, where to throw it. That's that's a good idea, man. Uh, why not your house? Your house. My house. Yeah. My parents would kill me. What if there's too many people? What if it gets out of control? I don't know, TJ. You. Man, you don't need to worry about that, man. Just just let me take care of it. You deserve <laughs> to celebrate, bro. You're right. I guess. Okay, but nothing over the top. Just a little music, not too loud, and a few refreshments. Refreshments? Okay, I got you, don't worry. Oh, gosh, what am I gonna do? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle this party. What do you do, Superstar? Are you ready? I guess I feel I'm ready. I, I'm not sure. Have a seat. Thanks. And don't worry, TJ. I got you, man. And besides, the hot girls will be here any minute. Okay, just make sure nobody... Um, what are you doing?
TJ, take a seat. I can't believe you went and had a party behind our back. We told you not to have a party. What were you thinking? I never even touched any of it, I swear. Don't you backtalk me. You know your scholarship's in jeopardy because of this. Do you understand that? And with no scholarship, I know for a fact that we cannot afford to pay for your school. Now, I want you to clean all this mess up, get all this trash out of here, then I want you to go to your room and I want you to think about what you've done. You understand? There's trash bags in the kitchen. Hi. This is Mrs. Clough from Morrisville High School. Why, yes I am. How about you? Well, that's good. I am calling to bring forth the subject of one of my students, Thomas Johnson. Yes, he just recently received a football scholarship from your school. Well, yes, you see, I'm sure you heard of his recent, um, mishaps. Why, yes. But you see, I know Thomas very well, in fact. I've been very close with his family and him since he was born. And I know for a fact that Thomas would not do a thing when he was reported by the police. And I would like to have you know that he is a good kid, and he deserves that scholarship 100%. Yes. Well, if you could find it in your heart to forgive him and continue to see him as a future student at your school. Yes, you too. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. I heard what happened. No, Thomas. From the moment I saw you as a baby, I knew that you would grow up to be a good kid. I held your tiny body in my arms and I just knew you would grow up to be successful. <laughs> Miss Cole, please don't cry. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Thomas. I would like you to know that I did call Notre Dame, and they still have very high hopes for you. I hope to see you on their football team. That's great. Hey, man. Hey. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I didn't mean for the party to end that way. You put my scholarship on the line, Frankie. You know how hard I've worked for this? I've wanted to go to Notre Dame since I was a kid, and you came to that party with your drugs and your alcohol, we could have had a normal, fun party. But no, you had to have it your way. I was just trying to have fun, TJ. Have fun? You don't need drugs and alcohol to have fun at a party, Frankie. Get it, just stop yelling. I just, I just want you to go to Notre Dame. I want you to stay here in Morrisville with me and we can hang out just like always. Frankie, I, you know I've wanted to go to Notre Dame since we were friends, since we first started out our friendship, and I can't believe you tried to destroy that dream. If you can't support me, then maybe we can't be friends anymore. Fine, man, whatever. 